If you guys need a private reading, as usual, I offer monthly specials. This month, it's the phone reading. All the information is below, so book. Also, my Instagram info is below as well. I'm going to start going live on Instagram before too long, so follow me over there. All right, Sagittarius, let's see what's going on with your love life. Sometimes I say bad words, so if you're new to my channel, it happens, and it happens often. It if, if it offends you, hard left, right off the channel. If not, stick around, lighten up, get your message, and have a good time. All right, Sagittarius, let's see what's coming in for you guys. We're going to take a look. We want to see August for... Whoop. Well, we're just going to go ahead and leave that out. We've got the Four of Swords there. Sagittarius taking a rest, perhaps. Maybe a little holiday. Who knows? August 1st through August 15th for Sagittarius regarding love. The cards have been pre-shuffled, but Mom here likes to do a few more to get that energy moving. All right, coming into the current moment, what do we have? We have the High Priestess, Sign of Pisces. She's... Very mysterious, isn't she, Sag? Sometimes she says, leave me alone. Tarot reader, psychic, that kind of shit. What's the challenge? Is the seven of swords in reverse? What's on your mind, Sag? The ten of pentacles. What happened in the recent past? The six of swords. Ain't nobody got time for that shit card. What's the situation? Why is all this happening? The hangsman in reverse. Coming into the near future, what are you going to experience? Ooh, the Queen of Wands in reverse. Could certainly be you. How do you see yourself right now? The Two of Pentacles. I'm going to adjust the camera. Nobody worry. What's going on in your environment? What's headed your way? The Nine of Pentacles. What's in your emotions? The Four of Pentacles in reverse. And what's the outcome, Sag? We have the Three of Pentacles. A lot of Pentacles. A lot of Earth energy here. Some of you might be dealing with an Earth sign. A big, fat Earth sign. Who knows? All right, let's move you back. All right, you guys can see all that. All right, so the overall energy, this four swords wanted to fall out. So, well, we're keeping it. <clears throat> Taking a break from somebody, maybe healing, just a rest, a rest period, getting your thoughts together. Um, you might be, again, taking a break from somebody, ignoring somebody, some shit like that. We're going to see with clarifiers, all right? Let mom here take a big, fat look. <clears throat> Coming in, Sag, we have the High Priestess. So Major Arcana for Pisces. Okay, as I mentioned, sometimes the Secret Keeper, silent, not really revealing much, is the High Priestess. So this could be you or somebody else. Maybe there are some secrets going on that you found out about. Or you guys just might be really honing in on your intuition. Okay, not revealing everything. The challenge is going to be the Seven of Swords in Reverse. Air Energy, Libra Gemini, Aquarius. For me, that Seven of Swords in Reverse is usually somebody returning to the scene of the crime. <clears throat> somebody feels guilty, something like that. I feel like coming in, there's some secrets, and you guys have pulled away, or you're trying to gather your thoughts. Somebody's not revealing something, <clears throat> and the challenge is going to be to get them to open up. Maybe they feel guilty for keeping secrets or some shit like that. We got something like that going on. Because on your mind is the Ten of Pentacles. So Ten is completion, right? The Ten of Pentacles is material, stability, long-term, love you long time, Sag, commitment, marriage, that kind of thing. It's a lot of, <clears throat> it's like building a legacy within the family, a long-term commitment. It's good shit, right? For some of you, maybe this is a marriage or a long-term commitment going on, or that's what you have on your mind, okay? <clears throat> now, the recent past with the Six of Swords... Somebody got in the boat. They didn't even call an Uber, Sag. They just got in the boat and they fucking headed out. Six of Swords is moving on. It can't be the card of travel. This could also be getting to a better place peacefully, coming to some type of resolution. But I feel like somebody's moved on here. <clears throat> this could be money, too, on your mind, Sagittarius. Ten of Pentacles. I think it's just getting your stability back and wanting that long-term foundation to build for the future and somebody's not opening up so somebody decided to get in the boat and move on because the situation the foundation we have the hanged man in reverse so more pisces energy so maybe you have pisces in your chart maybe deal with the pisces in the foundation somebody's released they're not waiting around maybe somebody didn't tell somebody that they were getting out of town i don't know i'm just saying we know somebody left or at least in their mind left because the situation with the hangman in reverse is released. Somebody's not waiting around, no longer sacrificing. 
Hangs Man in Reverse can also be kind of that energy of refusing to budge. It's like your way, you, you're not willing to kind of put yourself in somebody else's shoes to gain clarity on a situation. <coughs> Excuse me. Coming into the near future, you've got the Queen of Wands in Reverse. This could certainly be you. Queen of Wands in Reverse is what you're going to experience coming in to the near future, a Sagittarius. A couple things. So with this High Priestess here, she can be a court card, okay? With, with her, and she's also can be a secretive female. So I got to throw that out there. Sometimes this Queen of Wands in Reverse for me is another energy. It's like the, the other woman or the other person, regardless if they're a fire sign or not. And the challenge is there's something shady going on here. We're going to have to clarify it. And I think you guys are kind of like, what do I do? You're pulling away, trying to get your thoughts together. Who's this Queen of Wands coming in to the near future? I mean, it certainly could be you. If it's you, <clears throat> you're not taking action because you're releasing from something. You want that family legacy, that stability. <clears throat> could be you. Also, the Queen of Wands in reverse is not, again, she's not, she or he's not taking action, not feeling confident. The Queen of Wands in reverse can be really pissed. She'll burn down your house. She will. She or he. So we're going to see what that is. All right, because you see yourself right now is the two of pentacles. So two is options, partnerships, decisions. Right now you see yourself as, as kind of going back and forth. What do I do? Trying to find balance. I don't necessarily think that this is you guys juggling. I mean, it could be. You have to kind of see what that is. But two of pentacles, you're, you're going back and forth. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? One minute you are thinking this, the next you're thinking that. So right now just trying to gain your balance and stability and weigh up your options. Could be that you just want to date as well. Get out there and date again. Because in your environment, what do they bring in? The Nine of Pentacles, some more Earth. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, single, independent. Right? That's the energy they're bringing towards you. So were they the ones that took off? <clears throat> you know? All right, let's see what's going on. In your emotions, you have the Four of Pentacles in reverse. See, you're letting go of something. Again, more Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Four is all about stability. When it's in reverse, we're no longer holding on to something that we once were holding on to. And that's why we have the Hanged Man in reverse. Somebody's out. Somebody is out the door, Sag. And I do think you guys are kind of going back and forth on it. I think you guys might have been the ones to leave this. But you have the commitment on your mind. Maybe this person wasn't giving you a commitment. Also to this person, maybe they were already in a commitment. With this Queen of Wands, Akka, High Priestess. The outcome has the Three of Pentacles. Typically, third party, this would come out in reverse. But we're going to check it out. Okay, because this can certainly be somebody's working with somebody else. Like, there's three people involved. Obviously, with the Three of Pentacles. Again, Earth Energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Three of Pentacles is like teamwork. It's working together. It's building. It can be a social card too. Like we're getting together. We're trying to figure out what we want for the future. We're on the same page. You know, let's build. Let's talk and let's build. It's kind of that energy. But it's also a three. Okay. Remember, everything's happening because of the hanged man in reverse. Somebody's releasing or refusing to kind of see something in a different perspective. So let's see what's up, Sagittarius. Interesting reading. All right, Sagittarius, August 1st through August 15th of 2019. Zodiac sign of Sag. How you doing, Sagittarius? I missed you. I did. All right, mom here was driving in the deep south. Boy, is that an adventure. I highly recommend it. All right, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What do we see in love for Sag? August 1st through August 15th, 2019. Sagittarius, what can you guys expect in love? If I could shuffle the cards, you guys definitely have something to say. The cards are everywhere. Sagittarius, what's up for you guys? All right, we're going to cut it, do it, and chat about it. Let's clarify this reading. Let's do it, Sag. <clears throat> Let mom get a sip of her tea because, well, my throat hurts. It does. I got sick on my trip. What can I say? All right, overall energy. We have the four of swords. Why is this here? Why is this the overall energy for Sagittarius? This is love live. What's up? August 1st to the 15th. The fool sign of Aries. Yeah, taking a break. The overall energy is taking a break, pulling away. 
kind of doing nothing, getting your thoughts together because you're on a new path with the Fool. Again, Major Arcana for Aries, but this is a new adventure. Zero Major Arcana in Tarot, so we're taking a new path. We're taking some type of risk here, something new. Okay, but you're getting your thoughts together and pulling away before you do that. Um, and that's why you guys, somebody moved on here in the recent past. Let's see what that is. Why is the Six of Swords here in the past for Sagittarius? What is it? Yeah, the Hermit, sign of Virgo. There's a lot of Earth energy here. Virgo in your chart, or you're dealing with a Virgo maybe in their chart. The recent past, somebody got in the boat and they moved forward. The Hermit is researching. The Hermit is always trying to figure something out. But it can also be like ghosting, pulling away, withdrawing, isolating, because you're trying to get your thoughts together. So in the recent past, somebody did move on. And they may have withdrawn. You, you know, somebody may have got again, somebody may have been ghosted, something like that. Somebody's really trying to get their thoughts together. But there's a lot of withdrawal in the recent past. And again, coming in right now to the, the overall energy, we're on a new path here. So coming in, we have the High Priestess, sign of Pisces. Why is this coming in right now for Sag? Yeah, the Chariot, sign of Cancer, Major Arcana, big changes coming into the current moment. So somebody could be that somebody's not revealing uh, moving forward. I mean, the Chariot is travel, but it's also like moving on quickly towards victory and success. Okay, somebody may have done that to you too, Sagittarius, um, and it not really revealed everything. I, there's a lot of like... Um, Pulling away, but not revealing cards, like not not revealing stuff in this reading. What's this chariot? Why is this here? There's a lot of travel or people are like moving. Why is the chariot here? Yeah, the ace of wands in reverse, that's your energy. A lack of a new beginning. Somebody's just moving forward here. And it was either because of a secret of female or somebody is not revealing that they're moving on. We see, we see it happened <clears throat> in the recent past. And somebody's very closed off, keeping secrets here right now. The challenge is the seven of swords in reverse. Why is this here? The magician, Virgo, uh, Virgo magician. Virgo, Gemini, so more Virgo energy. It, your challenge is to manifest something, to create something here. Because somebody doesn't want to, you know, somebody could feel guilty about something here. But the challenge is going to be for them to, like, man up or woman up, you know, and create something here. False mask with that magician trickster <clears throat> is what I'm feeling. Yep. And then we got the Queen of Wands in reverse just flew out again, twice. Somebody's really pissed. Or somebody's dealing with another energy. All right, because on your mind, Sag, is the Ten of Pentacles. Why is this here? Why is this Ten of Pentacles on Sagittarius' mind? The Ace of Swords, a breakthrough, a new idea, clarity, victory. But the Ace of Swords can also be severing ties with somebody cutting it out. Aquarius energy. You guys are having some type of breakthrough here on, on this uh, stability, this commitment, this marriage. Why is this Ace of Swords here on Sag's mind? The Three of Wands. So see, was there three people involved? Did you guys find out about that? I mean, it's definitely a possibility. All right. But you guys also, with that Three of Wands, you're waiting. You're manifesting. You're waiting for your ships to come in. You're planning for your future, right? And it has to do with long term. You've had some type of clarity, some type of breakthrough. What's this Three of Wands? The Devil, sign of Capricorn. I think you guys have maybe have communicated this to somebody. The devil, there's some toxicities that can certainly be other people are involved, cheating, obsessions, anything that's like restricting somebody's energy in a relationship. And you guys, it's clearly on your mind because you're releasing or somebody is. Why is the hangman in reverse? Why is this here in the foundation for Sag? Yeah, the knight of wands in reverse. That's certainly you, Sagittarius energy. Very fickle. The, the, in the foundation, we're releasing, we're no longer sacrificing or waiting around, and it's due to somebody's um, flightiness, somebody that's just not reliable. They're in, they're out. You don't, you never know what you're going to expect from that Knight of Wands in reverse. So coming into the near future, Sagittarius, you're going to experience this Queen of Wands in reverse. That could certainly be you. What is this? Yeah, the Nine of Swords, up late at night, worried, anxiety. Okay. Not feeling confident because of this release and dealing <clears throat> with somebody who is just already in a commitment or would not give you that stability and that commitment. And there's a lot of toxicities and restrictions. So there's going to be some anxiety coming into the near future. Who's this Queen of Wands? I want more, one more card. Who's this Queen of Wands coming in to the near future? See the Two of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy. I think somebody's juggling here. And it's really going to leave somebody up in their head here. All right. 
also just pissed. Somebody's really pissed. Somebody I'm reading for is ready to burn down somebody's house because somebody was juggling. You see yourself right now is the two of pentacles too, like trying to figure out, like trying to make a decision here. Why is this two of pentacles here for sad? Yeah, the three of cups in reverse. Because somebody's hand was in a different cookie jar, I feel. Okay, so you're trying to figure out what the hell to do now. What they're bringing is the nine of pentacles towards you. So this is being single, independent. Somebody's just not about a commitment here. King of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. But also, too, that king of swords can just be icy and detached. Doesn't have to be an air sign. <clears throat> but they're cold, right? I mean, even in this deck... He looks cold and icy, right? Sometimes that king of swords is severing ties or cutting things out. Um, very logistical. Why is this king of swords here? The six of wands, Leo energy, probably getting attention from somebody else with that six of wands. That six of wands is somebody that's very popular, gets a lot of attention, is getting some type of victory or success. What's the six of wands about? Yeah, the lovers in reverse can be cheating. Gemini energy. A disunion. I'm just saying, this isn't for everybody. Nobody get their drawers in a knot, okay? This is for somebody. But in your emotion side, you have the four pentacles in reverse. You're you're releasing. You're not holding on to this too tightly anymore. Yeah, the eight of swords. <clears throat> you're releasing it because of the eight of swords. You're tired of thinking about it over and over and over again. Eight of swords is like being in that mental prison. Why is it a lot of mental energy, a lot of anxiety? Why is the Eight of Swords here? The Seven of Pentacles, <clears throat> right? Looking back at the past, the time that you've invested into this connection or just love in general, and you're just tired of waiting, right? You're tired of like going back and forth in your head. Now, the outcome has the Three of Pentacles. Why is this the outcome for Sagittarius? What's this Three of Pentacles about? The High Priestess. See, again, Pisces energy. Secrets, things that are not being revealed, Okay, people are keeping things in, and it has to do with probably third energy, right? Somebody's building and collaborating here, but they're not revealing it. That high priestess is very silent, very mums the word. Why is this high priestess here in the outcome for Sag? What is this? The two of swords, Libra and energy, more swords in two minds. But this is ignoring, this is blocking, okay? Somebody is just not revealing stuff. They're not opening up. That heart chakra is closed off, too. Why is this two of swords here in the outcome? Again, another two decisions, partnerships, death, sign of Scorpio, okay? I do see you guys putting an end to something here. I think that you've already started to release it, but you still have some mental anxiety about it coming in, too. Why is death? I mean, death made your arcana, like, that's endings it's like shedding the old so that you can start something new why is death coming in here yeah the queen of swords libra gemini aquarius energy cut and shit out you guys are going to find yourself at the point where you're just going to sever ties here with somebody that's not bringing a commitment obviously whether this is a marriage or a relation like whatever this is who's this queen of swords why is this here queen of pentacles We've got two queens here they're looking at each other okay Queen of Pentacles, some of you have Earth in your chart. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus is a mother, very stable, grounded energy. She's all about commitment, though. Um, why is this Queen of Pentacles here? We've got a lot of people showing up in this reading. The Five of Wands in reverse. See, there's competition. We have two queens here. Some of you, some of this is your energy. Like You're just cutting shit out because of this energy. And the Five of Wands in reverse. Letting go of conflict, competition, walking away from strife and conflict, not having it. All right. Why is the fool here for Sagittarius' overall energy? Somebody's on a new, embarking on new love, a new adventure, after taking some time out. Why is the fool here? What's this about for Sag? See the sun. The sun's going to come out. I mean, sign of Leo here. There will be clarity. There will be positive changes because you're going to start fresh and you're going to move forward. Okay. The sun always brings clarity and healing. So y'all are dealing with some shit here and i'm sorry the energy wasn't better but that's what i see again it's not gonna be for everyone if it's not your story move on i don't know what to tell you come back or look at your rising your moon but this was definitely a message for someone okay there's gonna be some anxiety coming in here i think a lot of you are really pissed to be honest somebody's juggling and you're gonna be trying to figure out what the hell to do but you're starting to get a breakthrough. You're starting to get some type of clarity with that Ace of Swords and the Sun. Okay, ships coming in. All that good shit, Sag. 
all right for some of you because you see yourself as the two of pentacles and then the three of cups in reverse some of you are are juggling you know trying to figure out what to do do i want to just date do i want to be in this long-term relationship because this is in the you now position okay you either see yourself as having to make a decision about a couple people or you're dealing with somebody but this is in the you now position i think a lot of you too are just trying with that two of pentacles to kind of weigh up your options as to what to do because of the three of cups in reverse a disunion of a partnership or perhaps other people involved <laughs>